Yo, so the reason I am recording this in vertical mode is because I'm going to go to Instagram shortly after this because there was a real life saw yesterday that I, I think um, that I want to attach to this because we, we keep getting the same talking points and conversations and questions over and over um, from like, from the woman centric side. I'll, I'll word it that way. Um, and this specific one is where they're they're like where the, the question that I'm um, referring to is like the why don't men want to court anymore or approach or date so on and so forth something that has been a really at the top of the list for some years now if not a lot longer so we're gonna hear what she has to say and then you know critique it or whatever not gonna look at the comment section it's kind of irrelevant and then go over to the video i want to show you on instagram that's what i'm talking that's about you're losing me because i i clearly stated that if you are talking at I, what point I, do you dismiss the other guys Let, let's kind of figure it out right at what point yeah because like that's what i'm saying like a week like what are you guys doing no if, if i'm talking to a guy and we went on one day and the date went great i'm gonna be excited for the second date and whoever I was talking to before him, and if we not really like on that level, like the pressure that he's putting on, I'm gonna slowly fade away from them. Like, you know? And then as I go on the second day, and he's letting me know that like, maybe what, I would say it doesn't take that long for a man to know if he wants to be with you, right? I, I say I give it about six weeks to eight weeks. That's when a man should know if he wants to be with you. So, now I was gonna let her talk more, but I, I want to very specifically point out not only address that, but I wasn't gonna go to the comment section, but as you see right there, this guy says, This is why the breakup and divorce rate is high. Women do not move in good faith. Um, what she is describing is not in good faith. And the, the Instagram world I'm gonna show you has a lot of women in the comment section. Acting as if this is a good faith way to go about the whole courting and dating uh, uh, phase. Now, as you heard, she said she's going to slowly move out. Slowly. So she's not even going to just go, oh, I like him. Let me just stop. No, let me slowly. So still entertain and keep all of that open. But, you know, slowly move away. I forget. It. I actually forgot what she just said be with you right I, I say i give it about six weeks to eight weeks now let's think about that if you were to ask her or any woman that agreed with this okay at, at eight weeks would you just cut it off would you would you go into it and say okay after eight weeks if we don't know let's just move on would, the, would she do that or would she continue to go no nah, i'm gonna keep it around just in case and then if another guy comes along I'm gonna slowly can slowly deal with that and then if it does i'll just drop the guy who's been there for longer than eight weeks do you see how this is it, it is how is it normal and okay to just head your head your bets bets that doesn't that doesn't make sense and when you hear somebody like kendra g says is oh women should definitely just date because men do it all this that that is totally inaccurate that's totally inaccurate if you listen to women themselves speak they will tell you they don't even like uh, men enough to do this. So this is that that is not what happens. And then I remember seeing something where this woman said, "Oh, let, let the date multiple men and let the cream rise to the top." That's not how it, how it works, ladies. Y'all know that. Y'all know that's not how it moves. The cream will always be at the top. Whoever, whatever guy you think or is your quote unquote favorite or whatever like that, even if he's new, he will always be at the top, no matter what. You would just always be waiting on him while you were slowly phasing out anybody else. You go, oh, fuck it. I can just drop now. That, that's all that's going to happen. So it's by default, <coughs> excuse me, by default, a bad faith way of moving. That's when a man should know if he wants to be with you. So during those periods of y'all getting to know each other and he's really showing up he's being consistent he's hitting you up every day y'all is talking on the phone every day y'all seeing each other he's planning dates anytime he talks about the future he's adding you in it that and i really hate this concept of he's planning dates like why don't you plan it 
If you want him to pay for it, why don't you plan it? I don't, I don't understand that concept. I don't. It, it, that's that's crazy to me that he has to plan and pay for it. So if you guys are married, he has to plan and pay for all the trips. Like exactly what will you do then if, at that point? Because you both have to do some sort of work in the relationship, whether it's working outside the home, inside the home. Regardless, does he have to plan and pay for the vacations? I just don't understand this, this, this concept that you have to do all that. That's crazy. That's a man you cannot risk losing for some dudes that y'all are just probably texting here and there and there. So have there's been, and, and, and it's just like, has there been a situation where two men at once are putting pressure? You're going to go with the man that you like the most and brush off the other ones until, and then eventually they're going to, you know, they're going to go their own way. They may still hit you up, but you're not paying them no mind, no attention anymore. And, and then I think about that. Why? Why? That that this tells me that you didn't actually tell them to go away. This tells me that you just slowly ghosted them, kind of. You you still message them, but you kind of like mm, instead of saying I, I'm 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 good. I'm with somebody else. That's bad faith. Eight that eighth week, six week mark. You should ask him, hey, what? where are we going with this? Where I, I think women shouldn't be scared to ask, hey, where are we going? Think about it. Women shouldn't be scared to ask, hey, where are we going, going with this? After eight weeks. But if you deploy a strategy like I have, which is, okay, where are we going with this immediately? Now, nah. oh, you're, je you're just, just looking for a friend to see where it goes. Yeah, I'm good. Right? That to me is insane. That you will say, let's let's wait eight wait two months to go. Okay, so now where are we? What? What do you mean? You you wanna you wanna wait eight weeks to ask the question? That's fucking retarded to me. But at, at some point, you no, know let's play it. With this, um, you know, like is it just me and you? Like where, where where are we going with this? And he'll let you know right then and there. I want you to be my woman. I want to be committed. That's when you're willing again to wait to find out if he wants to be monogamous. Do you do you, like think about that concept? You don't even want it. You don't even want to tell you that a friend or not. You want to wait and find out as opposed to finding out. So please explain to me why if there's any confusion to why some guys just go. Yeah, no, nah, I, I don't like the courting part. I, I don't. I don't like it. I don't like to approach. I don't. The, usually what comes with this type of talk or rhetoric is um, the whole insulting game. You're not the kind of man that this. You you don't, because you don't get this type of thing. You don't, listen, every game has a winner and loser. So this dating game, mating game, has a group of winners and a group of losers. If you not being sought after the way she's describing, that clearly means, at least to her, you are the loser. So by default, you really shouldn't, you as a guy shouldn't even make it to six to eight weeks. They say, they meaning women say this time and time again. So if, if I'm feeling a, a type of way based on how she reacts to me, when we're speaking or going anywhere or whatever, immediately I, at that point, know this isn't going to go anywhere. Or I ain't the guy she feel that way about, so she's going to treat me X kind of way. Everything that y'all put out, y'all mean women put out there, says I really shouldn't even put attempt to put in that much work because I know without doing that, whether you feeling me or not. And I should only do that when I know for a fact that you are feeling me to that degree. You don't play around any like don't even they should they're they should be blocked at this point. Everybody should be blocked at this point. That's where I say. One of the things that I've been blocked. Again, the inability to say, hey, I've moved on. Seriously. A text. You you didn't got a call, just a text. I moved on. That's it. You have to block. Up a lot. 
as far as you know why so many of our women are having such a hard time in dating these days is because um, a lot of our women number one they neglect the self-work and the understanding of self and number two and i think this is vital they enter the relationship beginning stages in bad faith like they're they they enter it expecting things to go bad so they feel this sense of having a backup plan having an alternative and again that's okay if you don't want certain outcomes but for the women who might be watching this who might listen to this later who want the outcome of monogamy want the outcome of marriage even um the one at a time gets you to that better than the best man why are there so many well said well said but i cut her question off which is an important question so let's Take it back 10 seconds so we can get that question in in line. Outcome of marriage even, um, the one at a time gets you to that better than the best man. Why are there so many women saying their time was wasted and they stayed too long trying to make something work because they really put all their eggs and invested? One thing a woman... Okay, he's going to say something similar. I still want to put my take on it, so I am... Um, um so to answer her question so many women say that they feel like their time was wasted because they put their eggs and i'm assuming she means one basket i don't know why she did it that worded that way but putting their eggs in one basket mean their desires and hopes and effort and energy and all that into one guy well a few reasons one let's do the i guess worst take but um one is well the guy was just a lot he was a liar he was a cheater he was whatever right um two i actually said two months i know y'all like to pretend that y'all are these emotionless people which i don't understand why women started playing that game a handful of years ago but fine but that's not true somebody you like you're interested in your faith you're going to put that that work in as she said right you don't think that that's going to turn into there was a guy who posted this um this um this reel with the caption don't lie to her she likes you she like herself and then you know he, he was he was the the handsome enough guy to her even just by that video women were like oh he telling all the truth blah 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 had, had him doing all that right well what do you think you do after two months you don't go shit i gotta ask him a question no 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 you'll still ease it in and then when he plays blah 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 he literally could say that he literally could just say words i mean sounds blah 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 blah, blah. You'll, you'll go i don't know what the fuck that means but okay and then two years later all now is like well fuck i just wait, wasted two years with you and you fucking with this shit well i never told you that's one now there are several other reasons but we're going to bring it right back to the reason that was already stated by the guy in the video which is you don't lead that way you don't you don't want to approach the the situation which each guy with hey i want monogamous i even want marriage is that what you want is that what the these arrangements that you're going to make and pay for whatever is going to lead to that right i've said a million times rather on here or people in in, in real life whatever that if why like <clears throat> when i was younger and i saw the view talking about questions first date and all that stuff and they were like don't bring up children and marriage on the first date and my thought was why 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 wouldn't you do that if you have those two fundamental things not in common where the fuck are you going to go with that you want to waste a, a, a going by her timeline two months to go yeah we actually have deal breakers within each other You'd rather do that? How much sense did that make? That doesn't make sense. That sounds incredibly stupid. Why would you do that? So, listen, I, I just, I, I don't get it. You know what? I, let me put it like this. this. This is the way I've thought about it when I would, you know, talk to a chick on Facebook is with the whole, let's see where it goes. You don't, you, you are so anti-commitment that you don't want to commit to finding commitment that shit is crazy 
you literally just want to just kind of exist around a handful of people enough for a ding to go off and go, oh, I can do commitment with this one because this one doesn't actually require the work that goes into commitment because it's fun. So therefore, this is the, the commitment that I want to commit to. That's in fucking insane. That's crazy as hell. We are so commitment phobic. We don't want to commit to the commitment. Or is it work phobic? That which is why we don't want to commit to the commitment. Whatever. I'm I'm sure y'all will let me know. Whatever. Whatever. Let's move moving on. Hate is investing so much of her time in a man because y'all telling us constantly, if I've been with you for this amount of months. And I've invested so much of my time. One thing a woman hates is starting over. Okay. So to say that. But remember the first thing I said is an understanding. But do you hate starting off wrong? That's what you have to start hating. So hating starting off wrong. Get to the. Like again. The part. The, never wanting to be uncomfortable. That that that's That's what's killing a lot of people's hopes of finding someone never wanted to be uncomfortable that i don't want this this part of dating to be so unromantic well shit it might have to if it's practical no that's i don't uh the women who are still having kids because apparently some of y'all aren't a lot of y'all aren't but the ones who are still having kids i don't want to have to be in this have this structure laid up before i it's like People, y'all, at some point, y'all got to just be okay with being uncomfortable for the sake of getting something right. But no, we'd rather do this shit over and 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 over. Damn. Thanks a lot. No, it's, it's the, the first thing I said was an understanding of herself and what it is that she needs. Unfortunately, women... And I've said this before, jokingly, <laughs> women spend more time on a motherfucker's Instagram instead of his LinkedIn. So a lot of women, unfortunately, prioritize superficial aspects of masculinity because they barely understand femininity. So they don't know what to look for, or how to vet men. And that's why they end up spending and wasting so much time with shitty dudes. And later on, instead of taking some kind of accountability of the part they played in the toxicity and choosing mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. they would rather say, I'ma just switch up my tactic as opposed to getting to know myself better. Because again, not only have I participated in this, I've seen these things play out. The women who are just dating because it's fun and may the best man win. Typically, there are one offs, like you said, I agree with you. But typically that does not end well because that woman continues to obfuscate responsibility to every external factor outside of herself, as opposed to recognizing that I am the common denominator with each of these guys. All right, it looks like the back and forth is over. So we're going to go over to that Instagram that I mentioned and check that out. Now, here we are. He says, ladies, quick question. Your three men you like actually want to date Friday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you want all three. So basically, if one guy asks for Friday, another guy asks for Saturday, and another guy asks for Sunday, are you going to go to all three of those dates? And here's what you have in the comment section. She joking says, I can make two out of three. And then, for some reason, she, this lady says, getting to know people does not mean you are sleeping with them. That wasn't the question. That was not the question. That's what you felt. Because I guess you're guilty of that or something. But that's not the question. Um, and this person says, that's the point of dating. You're single. Date and enjoy life. So what, what does that translate to for me the way I hear it? Which is, hey, because you're single, that means you don't have any structure or order in which you do anything. Especially this dating thing. You get to, you get to just go out there and just aimlessly be, be there. And if someone questions you on anything, remember, you're single. Well, again, if we have this type of... If we have this type of um, attitude towards dating, how the fuck could it ever work? How could it work? When you don't actually put a structure within this thing, how can it work? The, I guess the, or, the only order that matters is... He planned it, paid for it, and all you got to do is show up. Got it. 
Yes, it's a date, not a dick appointment. Um, very fascinating because um, I'm pretty sure if the question was, well, what about a... Okay, let's ask her. What about a D appointment <clears throat> after the date with someone else. Now, I'm pretty sure she's going to say shut the fuck up, no me business, but why not ask? And the reason that I even was asshole enough to ask that was because that was a thing some years ago of people asking this question and pretty much almost all women said, what's the issue? And it's like, so you don't get how the guy and, and this and the real quick the thing that's really fascinating about that is they didn't uh, they didn't think about or have any empathy for the guy who paid for the date they always referred to the guy who was they were having the dick appointment with which is what just because we fucking i can't go on a date that's how they all addressed it when asked this question and it was like so you don't even see the guy on a date none of you even like have this like none of you even see or think about the guy on the date. That's what one of that's one of the things that opened my mind up like the widest to like looking at this. Like if if, if I'm on a date with you, that is it's, it's it, it sounds like when you look at the large landscape of these debates and conversations and podcasts, it seems like the the most damning thing of, of when you put yourself in a situation is they literally will just have no feelings for you whatsoever on that date. They won't even remember you. Or you're just literally like, like just, just there. And it's like, why the fuck would I want to be in that position? Why, why would I want to do that? Like, literally my time. Like, I know y'all say the money is just this. The money is just that. You don't even spend a lot of Yo, my time. I would have rather play Call of Duty than to do that. Than to be the guy who was just kind of there for your pre dick appointment feeding. Like, that's crazy. So, yeah, when you start, so, oh, it's not a dick appointment. That's besides the fucking point. Because you don't, you don't think those two are a problem in association anyway. Uh, she says, yes, dating is not a relationship. It's not in a relationship. Until I hear the words, will you be my girlfriend or can I be your boyfriend? I'm single. Think about that. If y'all get into a point where y'all, you know, have a few dates and you're enjoying her and you just get a little loose with your efforts, your energy, your money, you, all everything. And she finds somebody at eight weeks who's just a little bit better than you. What does she owe you? Not even an explanation. Y'all want a relationship. This is why it has flipped from when you were seeing in the 90s where on, on TVs and movies where the guys like, oh, I just want to be friends. To now they say it because this is friends to them. You buy me shit. What do you mean? You plan stuff. What do you mean? Like, this is what you do. You plan and pay for stuff. That's what you do. Like, you don't, like, why don't you get that? That's what you do. You're my friend. You know, fun you know, real quick. I, I actually started asking women on that on Facebook, like when like when we match, and they say they want a friend. Like, so what kind of friend are you? Do you want? And most of them would just not even respond because they know where it's going. But then some of them was like, like um, friends. I'm like, are these fucking friends? Are these like wingman friends? Help you like, like what kind of friends are we talking about? And I would I would get blocked because seriously. I, it's not a friend who is the only one that pays for shit, even on the upfront part. Friends can just hang out with one another at the crib, right? Isn't that what most, unless you like work and you got to like, and you just meet up at a bar or something, you're like that kind of friend. But that's, I, don't, I think, I don't think that's the, the norm. But I think your friend, I think most people's friends, they have no problem with hanging out with them and no money spent at all. You can hang out with your friend and literally just order a pizza and watch TV. You can hang out with your friends. Yo, it's a park up the street for me. 
It's annoying as hell, but people meet up there all the time and just sit in the car. So, how about it? How about we just chug the park? Or, I don't know, we hang out watch TV? Like, why do we have to go somewhere that I plan and pay for it for just friends? Do y'all not comprehend dating? Well, dating to everybody else apparently means something different. So, no, smart ass, we don't. Yes, dating is auditions. Remember when women said, I don't audition for you, so no, you have to pay $200. Remember that? Which still happens today. When they say, why don't you, you're supposed to, I don't do the whole coffee date. One chick went viral. I don't do coffee dates because that's when they're trying to audition you. But now it's okay that it's an audition. Cool. It says, yup, may the best man win. You gonna audition for that. All right. Bold of you to think that like that any, I think she's mean that many men to begin with. No, but only because too many nights going out. I can't do three nights back to back anymore. This is why I don't do the dating part. I will send you a resume and they think I'd be like trying to be playing our ass. So no, seriously, I will send you a resume. Whatever you know, fill an application, but I'm not doing this part. It's, just, it's not happening. Yeah, why not? You guys link up with different girls on the same day. Who the fuck is that? Like, I need to know. I seriously need to know who y'all really think that is. Again, the guy at the table or on that date is, is an afterthought. They're not even comprehending that he's there. They're not. They're not. They're, they're probably envisioning something totally different going on. And you're just like the physical part that fills up the fantasy. I'm starting to think that. Because there's no, there's no way that y'all really can think that the average guy moves like this. Look at, look at the shit y'all selves will say that a guy has to do to even get some cookie from you. So who is this? Yes. Oh, damn, how do we get to this point? I must have went back to the top of something. Uh, <clears throat> I prefer working one person at a time. Okay. Oh, she says, yes, that's what single people do. Um, oh, sure. I guess. <clears throat> I guess. Yep. Key word here is date. Again, you you don't even have to show a, a consideration of no, I will. You essentially are doing speed dating slowly you're doing speed dating slowly and still have the audacity to demand no you plan you pay i don't have enough energy to entertain multiple people Nope, I pick my favorite and see how it works out. If not, on to the next. If it did, I'll see how it goes on the second date. So basically, she says yes unless the first guy is fun. Damn. <laughs> Yo, that's what she just said. That was an asshole way to answer that question. Yes, but no. No, but yes. To my socializing. Yep. Why not? Not no too complicated. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Then figure out which one you vibe with. If I'm single, yes. Why not? Does a date? I'm single and going on dates. That doesn't mean I have to have. What, ladies? Why do y'all keep bringing up sex? I. I've. I, I need to come up with some type of warning bell for shit that I've already said a million times. But again, this way, this back and forth that ladies 
are allowed to play with the whole sex is is, is a serious thing. I don't want to have with so many people. You, you, there's a time I, I don't just have sex with anybody. But then also, sex isn't that that big a deal. So body count doesn't matter. Yo, y'all gotta pick one. I gotta pick one. I yet again a few days ago heard somebody on a podcast saying that I actually think it was the the one that we just heard actually. I just didn't I just skipped past it. But this this thing where it's like you're you're saying that if a dude cares about body count, there's a whole bunch of shit wrong with him. Usually sick of sitting around he's insecure. But then also says, well, sex is apparently a serious thing that you can't just you can't just do with anybody or it's a child and blah blah blah. It's like cut the shit. Stop it. You want to be able to reserve it for the, the I guess the, the guy that who again your favorite who you're looking for, or if you are that high on your horse, you're you're no pun intended, you are some guy who's just a spot filler or or they call him like the maintenance man or whatever. But also the guy gets to gets to take you out on a date. Knowing damn well that guys have voiced that voiced that they don't they don't want to be the guy who just pays for the date. Again, when I watch Kendra G, and they're brutally honest about it at this point. Oh, I I've had a relationship for six years. Oh, I just fucked the guy two weeks ago. But one question I would really love for Kendra to start asking is, okay, so does the new guy who sparks your interest have to start waiting for the sex? Because you clearly it's, it's not that big a deal to you. It's not. I remember this one chick who's her the Crimson Cure. I covered her video before because she went off when she heard some dudes say, which is very relevant. I don't know why. Well, she's a woman, so I get why, but nobody called her out in the comment section. But I did a reaction to it. A guy said, she heard a guy say, I'm not trying to date unless I'm fucking a chick. Or something, some wording like that. But that's that was the core of the conversation. The core of what she responded to. And it's like, this is exactly why. If you are not, if you put your hand up to like the idea of having sex with a guy, you don't like him. Y'all, y'all have made that very clear. Talking about fucking multiple guys on a date. If you fuck, you know how many times a chick, if she had fucked one guy who was maybe her boyfriend, but she ain't too high on, but because like, uh, that's the best she could do commitment wise. And then she meets some hunk of guy somewhere. It ain't got to be in a, a, a good place. They can literally be like walking past him in Target. So fuck him in Target. Now that's the situation I made up, but there are real life situations that I heard of where a chick did not mind fucking two guys in a day. If this was a big problem, if if that was a problem, women would never cheat. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Whether she was married, in a committed relationship, or she hell, women would never have a whole face if this was a big deal. So if you are getting to know a guy, sex should never be off the table. But we know that this is a bullshit game. This is a bullshit game. No, I'm grown. I think I will spread the dates out because I wouldn't be able to reflect on each date back to back. So not even a. It's technically a hybrid of I wouldn't be able to get to know him. But also a, this is really difficult for me to, to describe it. But she kind of, she also hedged her best. She kind of asked, just said yes and no at the same time. I listen. I, I don't, and I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it will. I'm like a hundred, almost hundred percent sure that it would never work out for me. But I, I'm, I'm to the point where I'm like, yo, we can video chat, do it that way. We can text. We can talk on the phone. Blah blah blah. But that's only for so long, because after a while, I know you like fuck it. But that, that that's that's the only way I'm willing to move at this point. That's the only way I'm willing to move. I'm not about to play this this ridiculous, stupid ass game. Yeah, and I pray by the end of the night, I still like one of them. Man, don't know how to lead dates anymore. Man.
You don't even give a fuck about commitment. It's clear. What the fuck do you give? A... Man. Do you know how to be a lady anymore? This is what this is the part where people say all these expectations of men, but at the same time, it's like, for who? I saw a guy on this podcast, on one of those Tim Cast podcasts, he uh crisis culture or some shit like that. And he's like, I'm see guys they were talking talk about the conversation, the guy's not approaching and blah blah blah. He was like, here's how you do it. You, you plan a date out like this, and do that, and you lead this way, blah, 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 blah. And then the entire time, I'm like, yeah, that sounds good on surface. Nobody's saying that the shit that the idea that y'all give out can't work or shouldn't work, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, you're telling men to go through that for that? It's like, I should be able to literally just be like, yo, here's what I got. You like it or not? That's, what, that's exactly what that is. Here's what I got. You like it or not? That's what that is. And don't you dare tell me some sort sort of model. How many how many models are taking that fucking picture? You still have to be a gentleman, though. You you still have you still have to be a gentleman, though. No question. You still have to be. You must. You must. Can't shit change, but but what y'all want? Y'all can move however y'all want, but can't shit else change? <clears throat> I ain't got enough energy. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with going out on dates and seeing your options. You single and they single. People have to, no self control. Automatically think by having sex. Bro, is that in the cop? Let me see if that's in like the. We discuss topics like this some more in the private hopeless romantic group. If you're single, you might find your match. If you're in a relationship, share advice and gain wisdom from other couples. Get exclusive mini courses. No word. Nowhere in hell does this guy say anything about sex. So, why that, ladies, why the hell do y'all keep bringing this shit up? He didn't say sex. He said dates. Why do y'all keep bringing this up? Now I gotta go find some shit, find where I was. People are talking about the morality of it, of it all, but I'm just curious how many people have energy to go out with anyone several nights in a row. I'd be having. I'd be having an early night in bed after by nine after the first night. Okay, this is getting aggravating because there's too many just jokes in here, and I can't. I gotta cycle through them. Shit. Um, uh, uh. I don't do that. I have self respect for myself. I'm not taking three different men at the same time. Depends on the guy. Okay. It depends on how Thursday night goes first. It sounds like she has a dick appointment on Thursday. I think that's what that means. So I think I'm about to wrap this up because they're just way, way, way too many not serious answers here. Yes, because men do it as well. My husband was dating three men, three women when we met. I remained a friend and got to know him and him me. We dated seven months and got married. So let's, let's let's think about what she's saying here. He was dating three women, so therefore she didn't date him. Technically, she just kind of hung around. This sounds like a confirmation of this is how women choose men: just hang around, them. just not really do anything, but just hang around him. But what gives you the ability to reap the benefits of, you know, trying to, you know, get to know someone, quote unquote, but also, eh, I'm still single. What a hell of a game to play. 
What a hell of a fucking game to play. One date doesn't mean you're exclusive. Like, if the first one goes well enough, yeah, counts the other two, but otherwise. Again, this is why I say the one, and so it almost worked one time to the point of us discussing marriage. And I can't, I can't remember. It was, it worked another time, but not to that degree. But it can happen. It can work the way I do it, which is no dates prior to laying all the shit out on the table. Um, because I refuse to show up to a, let's just see where it goes. Uh, th this is in fucking saying. Fuck is she? China? White chicken Japan, huh? Alright, I'm gonna read these last two or these last three. I can't even get one and I'm only going to all three of them. Don't wow me and ask me the next day of sometime the week coming. If I make plans for a second date or something with one of them, then that's gonna dead all that. I'm already getting locked in. This is why I suck at dating. No, it actually sounds like you should move that way more so you don't end up whatever. Yes, but typically, yes, but I'm typically socially drained by Saturday. And so Sunday, man, we'll have to just some do something relaxing. Got it. Got it. So the other two can, I guess, burn you out, whatever. Non-sexually, of course. Then the third guy, just, oh, just do something, do something not, do something relaxing because the other guys tired me out. The all fucking audacity. The audacity of you. Now, this is the point where I have to say, which I was not saying before, but I kind of see now why dudes want to explore other countries with this shit. Because of this, yo. Dudes who actually still believe in this style of dating, I would imagine how burnt out they're getting if they're not, quote unquote, the guy. Meaning like the guy in the top 15, 20% of something. That shit, it would be exhausting. Listen, I've never had to officially get out there and actually date date. Because I honestly, like, I, I in a way, always led this way. Just didn't, it didn't have a name. It didn't have an idea because I didn't realize... I didn't realize that this is how this was. But I've always in, it technically moved this way. My longest time relationship. We, well, first of all, we work together. But I, I made it very clear, like, like, relationship, not like, what the fuck, like this. Like, I didn't say it, but I sent the message in a way, because again, I didn't realize this was a concept that I needed, which is, I'm not about to do this shit for a whole year, just like, dating this shit is stupid. That's, like, that's stupid. So we were kind of in a relationship like from the jump, from the jump, like the commit, like commitment and fucking was done before the first date. Uh, the worst relationship I had was like eight months. We dated before commitment and fucking, which by the way, dating is literally commitment from the guy. That's that if you look at the way dating works, it is commitment from the guy up front by default. The worst relationship I've ever had was I met a chick through a family member and we dated before commitment and fucking, or at least from her on her end. Uh, and, and if you look at it, that's most guys will say this, yeah, it's kind of how it played out. I, I will put money on it. But uh, like I said, that's the last one because I, um, yeah, I, I, I just, I'm single till married. All right. Be right. Not positive. I'm out.